Hello students, my name is Niyati Said and thanks for watching Edipedia World Videos. My topic for the presentation is the 14th section of the chapter Morphology of Angiosperms, that is flowering plants students. In this section of presentation we will be studying about the fruits okay, and parts of the fruit and classification of the fruits. Okay. So what is fruit students? Fruit is a characteristic feature of the flowering plants. It is mature or ripened ovary which is developed after fertilization. I have already taught you in my previous sections of presentation. Okay, So if a fruit is formed without fertilization of the ovary then that is known as parthenocarpic fruit. Okay, So fruit you can define it as a metamorphosed or ripened ovary without or with one or more seeds. Okay, so introduction. If flower forms before the fertilization, okay, see this is the ovary, okay, and after fertilization, okay. So after fertilization it becomes fruit. Before fertilization it is just an ovary but after fertilization it gets converted or it gets metamorphosed into fruit. Okay, That's why we say that uh, it is a mature or ripened ovary which is developed after fertilization. Okay, So if a fruit is formed without the fertilization of the ovary then that is called as parthenocarpic fruit. Okay. So this is uh, before fertilization, these small uh, ones are your ovules and this is your ovary, okay. So ovule gets converted into seeds, right, and ovary gets converted into fruit after fertilization, okay. So if fruit develops exclusively from ovary, then that is called as true fruit and true fruit is also called as yucca, okay. For example, mango. And if fruits develop from the other floral parts like thalamus, then that is called as false fruit or pseudocarp. Okay. Example is your apple. So whenever you see apple, just remember that it's a false fruit. Okay. Which is developed from the other floral part that is your thalamus. So apple is your pseudocarp that is false fruit. It is not a true fruit like yucca which is developed exclusively from ovary. Okay. And if fruit develops without fertilization then that is known as your parthenocarp. Okay. Example is your banana. Okay. Now come to the next uh, part of this presentation and that is your parts of the fruit. Okay, So this is your pericarp, right? This is your seed and pericarp is made up of epicarp, mesocarp and endocarp. So you can say that generally the fruit consists of a wall or pericarp and seeds. The pericarp may be dry or fleshy. When pericarp is thick and fleshy, it is differentiated into outer epicarp, okay, which is this one, okay. And when pericarp is thick and fleshy, then that gets uh, differentiated into mesocarp, okay, which is your middle mesocarp, okay. And then inner is your endocarp, right. So outer part forms a skin or protective covering, okay. See fruits generally have three parts, exocarp which is your outermost skin or the covering. Then comes your mesocarp which is uh, your middle part of the fruit and endocarp, see this is your endocarp, okay, this is the inner part of the fruit. Together all three are known as pericarp. Mesocarp is usually fleshy as you can see that this is fleshy and the edible part of the fruit. However, in some fruits such as almond, the endocarp is the edible part. Okay, this is your edible part. 
In many fruits, two or all three of the layers are fused and are indistinguishable at maturity. Fruits can be dry or fleshy. Furthermore, fruits can be divided into dehiscent or indehiscent type. Okay, which I'll be explaining you in detail that dehiscent fruits such as peas, they readily release their seeds. While indehiscent fruits like peaches, they rely on decay to release their seeds. Okay, so this were the parts of the fruit. See, the middle part is usually pulpy or juicy and inner part is thin as you can see and membranous it is hard it is stony okay which is seen in mango and plum okay now come to the third section of this presentation classification of fruit see simple fruit aggregate fruit and composite fruit okay simple fruit it is again divided into two dry and fleshy and composite fruit is divided again into two synchronous and sorosis okay so broadly if we see then there are the three classifications of fruit and they are simple fruit aggregate fruit and composite fruit simple fruit is divided into two dry simple fruit and fleshy simple fruit and composite fruit is again divided into two synchronous composite fruit and sorosis composite fruit okay so what is fleshy fruits a fruit in which the wall becomes soft and fleshy as it matures okay first classification of fleshy fruit is your droop okay what is droop in mango and coconut the fruit is known as droop okay they develop from monocarpillary superior ovaries and they are one seeded okay okay let's see in detail what is droop so it is one seeded simple fruit which is developed from superior ovary okay in which the innermost portion of the wall is known as endocarp it becomes hard and stony and the outermost part which is known as exocarp it becomes a relatively thin skin and the middle portion between skin and stone is known as mesocarp it becomes either fleshy or fibrous okay which is seen in cherry and coconut walnut okay because of the extra floral bracts or hers the latter two fruits they are sometimes called as droops but best of best they are called as nuts okay like pistachio okay almond coconut coffee okay dates and apricots so you can say that droop is a fleshy fruit with thin outer skin and central stone that contains the seed okay and it is developed from the superior ovary in which the innermost portion which is your endocarp it becomes very hard and stony and outer part which is your exocarp it becomes relatively thin skin and your middle part it becomes either fleshy or fibrous okay so examples are your cherry coffee almond pistachio apricot date and coconut okay now comes second that is your berry berry is a simple fruit in which the ovary wall or at least its inner portion it becomes enlarged and usually juicy it is seen in grape banana and gooseberry okay two special type of berry like fruits they may be single out for the special consideration for example like two are there okay hesperidium and pepo okay these are the two special types of berry like fruits okay so hesperidum it is a special type of berry in which a leathery rind forms see this is your leathery rind okay which is your exocarp with oil glands in pits see it has pit in it okay the small small pits okay so this is a special type of berry in which a leathery rind forms and the interior part of the fruit is divided by septa indicating the number of carpels okay 
see this is the inside closer look this is your leathery ring this is one is your mesocarp this is your endocarp right and these are divided into septa see these are your septas okay and it indicates the number of carpels so these are your carpels one two three four five six seven okay so these are the carpels which are uh, sectioned by septa and these are the locule filled with juice filled hairs these are your seeds okay so this is uh, hesperidium which is a special type of berry like fruit okay for example it is seen in lemon whose botanical name is citrus lemon okay now comes your pepo pepo is another special type of berry in which a relatively hard rind see this is very hard rind is formed the interior of the fruit not divided by the septa can you see the septa no so how hesperidium and pepo are different from each other it is different because pepo is not divided by septa okay it is seen in uh, watermelon gourds and squash okay now comes your aggregate fruits such fruits they develop from the single flower having an apocarpus pistil what is pistil style stigma and ovary together they three they form pistil okay so aggregate fruits they develop from single flower having an apocarpus pistil in such case the carpels are free and each one of them they develops into simple fruitlets okay a collection or a group of simple fruitlets they make an aggregate fruits like see so many fruitlets they make aggregate fruit okay as many fruitlets are developed in a group as carpel are there in a flower okay an aggregate of simple fruitlets on a single flower is termed as etaria okay such as an etaria of achenes etaria of follicles etaria of drupes and etaria of berries okay as you can see that these small small are your fruitlets okay aggregate fruits raspberry and blackberry they are aggregates of drupelets see these are your drupelets which are attached to the central elongated receptacle okay what is receptacle i have already taught you in detail in my previous sections of the presentation okay so aggregate fruits they are formed from single flower with many separate carpels now comes your aggregate fruit lotus okay so lotus produces a distinctive aggregate fruit with individual nut like fruits see this is nut like fruits which are embedded in a flat receptacle okay so this is the aggregate fruit lotus example now comes aggregate fruit magnolia okay magnolia fruit is an aggregate of follicles see these are your follicles small small follicles this red one which are attached to the elongated receptacle see this is your receptacle okay and these red ones are your aggregates of follicle and each follicle it contain a seed surrounded by fleshy arils okay there are two main types of uh, such fruits such as cirrosis this type of multiple fruit this is an example of composite fruit right composite fruit uh, are again divided into two synconus and cirrosis okay so first we are dealing with the cirrosis uh, students composite fruit and multiple fruit they are same so don't get confused okay and this is the first branch of the multiple fruit or the composite fruit this type of multiple fruit it develops from a spike or a spadix okay here the flowers they fuse together by their perianth lobes and simultaneously the exile bearing them becomes fleshy see this is the example of cirrosis that is your pineapple okay as a result the whole inflorescence it forms a compact mass okay for example it is seen in pineapple and jackfruit whereas in morus which is commonly called as mulberry uh, see this is your mulberries okay the perianth lobe it becomes thick okay 
and juicy and they are edible also here the ovules do not mature into seeds okay and therefore the carpels they develop into small nutlets and they are seedless okay so this is your cirrhosis which is the first branch of composite fruit in this uh, actually what happens is uh, fruit it develop from the spikes or spadix here all the flowers they fuse together by their perianth loop okay and simultaneously the excess bearing them see this is the excess bearing them it becomes fleshy and juicy and as a result the whole inflorescence see this is inflorescence okay which forms a compact mass and thus it forms a fruit okay so this is uh, your pineapple fleshy bracts of the pineapple and this is sorosis of mulberry multiple fruit osage orange multiple fruits they develop from several flowers where the carpels they stay together to resemble a single fruit okay so these are the small small fruits individual fruits they are called as akenes they completely enclosed in receptacle and sepal tissues okay so multiple fruits they develop from a several flowers see several flowers are there and they get converted into several multiple fruits where the carpels they stay together and it resembles a single fruit okay as i told you mulberry is also an example of multiple or composite fruit okay so mulberry it produces a cluster of fruit each enclosing an akene okay so the fleshy part of each root is swollen sepal tissue now the second category of composite fruit is cinconus this type of composite fruit it develops from a hollow pear shaped fleshy receptacle which encloses numerous minute male and female flowers see this is male flower okay these are female flowers this is fleshy thalamus and these are your gall flowers okay this is your gall flower and this is your peduncle so in this type of composite fruit it develops from hollow pear shaped fleshy receptacle okay receptacle is there which is uh, this synconus is developed from fleshy receptacle which encloses numerous minute male and female flowers the receptacle it develops further and gets converted into so called edible fleshy fruits okay and it truly encloses a number of true fruits or akenes which develops from the female flowers this is female flower of the hypanthodium inflorescens okay so cinconus uh, example is banyan and many species of ficus now comes your sizuca Cesocarp is a fruit that develops from compound ovary okay so this is your compound ovary which is which got converted into a fruit which is known as cesocarp where the carpels it break apart into separate single seeded akene like fruit units which are called as mericarps okay and please note that simplest cesocarp have two mericarps that means two fruit units here the fruit units they are called as mericarps okay so this is your cesocarp it is a fruit that develops from a compound ovary okay where the carpel they are uh, they get broken apart into separate single seeded fruitlets which is called as mericarps so this was all about the fruit in my next section of the presentation will be studying about the seed and a structure of dicotyledonous seed and a structure of monocotyledonous seed so till then stay tuned and keep watching edupedia word videos mm -hmm.